Number 14 then from paper one of the 2021 Higher Maths Resource Paper, section A, the one with the vectors and the reconstellation, back to vectors here, three mark question, scalar product. You've got two vectors here acting on a common point with an angle of 120 between them. You've got the magnitude of the two vectors and you have to evaluate this u dot, the scalar product of u with the sum of the two of them. Now you could work out the vector that was the sum of the two of them and then do the scalar product, but you'd be better off just splitting that up using the distributive law. So it'd be u dot u plus u dot v. And doing that, in fact, gets you the first mark, knowing that you can do that, just split it up into the easier parts. Now the scalar product means the pro just as it says, it's the product of the two lengths, it's the product of the two magnitudes, except it's the product of the two magnitudes that go in the same direction. Now they're not going in the same direction. Only part of u is going the way of v. I know it's going the opposite way, so it'll have to end up negative. It's the projection of it onto that direction, so it's only this bit of it that you want to use. Scalar product. The length of one times the length of the other, if it was scalar product of a dot b, it'd be the length of a times the length of b times the cosine of the angle in between. The amount of one that goes the same way as the other. Well, u and u, they both go the same way as each other, that's fine. So it's all of it times all of it. Now, what about u to v? Well, that'll be four times five, but it'll be times the cosine of 120. So that now you've got to figure out cos 120. Well, if you're not too sure what that is, you can just quickly sketch it at the side. 120 is here, all sine, tan, cos. So if that's 120, you've got 60 left. So cos 120 is the same as the cosine of 60, except it's negative here. So cos 120, I'll just put it all down here, is equal to negative cos 60. Now what's cos 60? Well, you've either remembered it, or we've got another wee diagram, let's put the wee triangle down. The 60-30 triangle. 1, 2, root 3. So the cos of 60, the cos is the adjacent, is 1 upon 2. So that's negative a half. So that's what I'm going to pop in here. So that means I've got 16 plus 20 times negative a half. Now there's two marks here. One mark was forgetting one bit and the other mark's forgetting the other. So that's negative 10. So negative 10, I'll just put it down. 16 take away 10. So that's going to end up as 6 for the final mark.